She's weathered a political storm, but she's made it safely to harbour. The merchant vessel Rachel Corey heads into the port of Ashdod, escorted by the Israeli Navy. This was not her destination. She wanted to deliver cement to Gaza, but the Israelis had other ideas. An Israeli army video captures the moment when commandos take over the Rachel Corey. Familiar images of confrontation on the high seas, but this time the soldiers met no resistance. They boarded the ship after the crew ignored repeated radio messages to change course and head for the port of Ashdod. The Rachel Corey is the last ship in a flotilla which was bound for Gaza but ended in tragedy. Mechanical problems had delayed her departure, but she was determined to make the journey, even though that would mean defying the Israeli Navy. You are approaching an area of the Israelis had offered the activists a deal. Come to port quietly and we will let you deliver your aid, then return home aboard the Rachel Corey. An offer the ship declined. The passengers on board right now are under the auspices of the Israeli Defense Forces. They'll arrive here at the Ashdod port, and as they've arrived in Israel, they'll be taken by the immigration authority, and they'll be taken care of in accordance with Israeli law. And so the ship docks. Israeli police are waiting for the passengers, who can expect to be deported promptly. As for the cargo, the Israelis will unload it and inspect it, then decide what will be allowed into Gaza. The sea blockade, we have a situation where if there is an international regime of inspection, we could go out to the boats, we could make sure the Israelis know what's on these ships, it could be sealed and certificated in a proper way and taken into Gaza. And by the way, we want to see uh, exports coming out of Gaza because it's already 80% aid dependent, as I said. What we don't want is to make it more aid dependent. What we've seen over the past 24 hours has been a desperate effort by Israel to secure some good publicity after the public relations disaster of last Monday. And there's also the hope that something good may come from that tragedy if Israel is in fact forced to rethink and ease its blockade of the Gaza Strip. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, in the Israeli port of Ashdod.